In photography, light is the medium. In order to get the perfect exposure for any lighting condition, being a harsh sunny day or pleasant evenings, you will need to adjust the light that is coming inside your camera. And apart from ISO and shutter speed, aperture plays an important role in this. Aperture can be defined as the opening in a lens through which light passes to enter the camera. If you think about how our eyes work, it would be easy to understand. When a dark situation, the iris expands, letting more light in. In bright lighting condition, the iris of our eye contracts to restrict the excess light. Aperture works in the same manner. You can control the size of aperture by changing the f numbers. Every lens has a limit to its wide aperture and it can't go beyond that. You must have seen there's a number written on lenses which tells you the widest aperture that lens can go. That's the maximum aperture value of this lens. Aperture can be large or small depending on what f number you set it to. If the f number is low, the aperture size will be large. And if the f number is high, the lens aperture will be small, resulting less light to enter the camera. Now that you know what an aperture is, let me show you how it looks like. Right now I will set this lens to its maximum aperture. That means most amount of light or maximum amount of light is passing through this lens. And now I will take down the aperture to its minimum size which is f16 and that opening will allow the least amount of light to pass. So far we have only discussed aperture in general terms like large and small. However, it can also be expressed as f number or f-stop. F numbers are a way of describing the size of the aperture for a particular picture. With the letter F appearing before the number like F8, F2, F4, etc. Imagine this box as the amount of light. Now divide this in two parts. Take another box and divide this in nine parts. Now let's say we set our aperture to f2, then in that case we are getting this portion of light. But if we set it to f9, we'll be getting only this portion of light. Here you can clearly see that the higher the number, less the amount of light. So remember this, higher the f number, smaller the aperture size and lower the f number, wider the aperture. Aperture has several effects in photographs. One of the most important is the brightness or exposure of the images. As aperture changes in sizes, it alters the overall amount of light that reaches your camera sensor and therefore the brightness of your image. These two images have different aperture sizes. One is at f8 and other at f1.4. A large aperture will pass a lot of light, resulting in a brighter photograph. Here in this case, that image is f1.4. A small aperture does the opposite, making a photo darker, which you can see f8 is quite darker than f1.4. Now let's understand what is depth of field. If aperture is set to wide, we call it shallow depth of field. And if aperture is set to small, we call it deep depth of field. These images were shot on aperture priority mode which doesn't affect the brightness of the image as shutter speed and ISO are automatically set by a camera for you. Here you can see with f1.4 we got the maximum foreground and background blur compared to f16 and 5.6. Consider depth of field as this blue focus box in front of the camera. Right now we have set the aperture to f2.8 and manually focused on apple. Here we can call it shallow depth of field. As we increase the aperture, let's say to f5.6, the focus area will also expand, covering some part of the orange and the glass as well. We can call this deep depth of field. Let's move our focus to orange from apple. Now you can see as we shift our focus to orange, the apple and the glass behind it becomes blur as they are not falling under the focus range of 2.8. Similarly, we can shift our focus to the glass as well, which will make our foreground objects blur because they are getting away from the focus range.
Frankly speaking, choosing a picture is totally your call. It will reflect your style of photography. So first, find the purpose of the image. What exactly do you want to show in that particular image? I shot this image at f14 during night time on a slow shutter speed. And because of that small aperture, you can see both background and foreground in focus. If aperture was set for this picture, let's say at 1.4 or 2.8, in that case, the light rays that you can see in the foreground won't be this clear. If you are going to click a portrait where you also want some of the environment to come along with the person, then choose the aperture that will show enough detail to convey the surroundings. While shooting landscape, if you want to show more of the environment in your images, you can choose aperture value between f8 to f16. You should not go beyond f16 because in that case, the lens diffraction will make your image worse. When shooting straight or close-up shots, you can keep your f numbers lower for shallow depth of field that will make your subject stand out from the background. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions or questions, then please comment down below. And if you are new to the channel, then hit subscribe to stay updated with new videos on photography and editing. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and keep creating.